Chef D here. What's the skinny? Head to the kitchen and I'll show you. Grab the Instapot. Grab three quarter pounds of your short ribs because we're about to trim the fat. If only it was that easy to trim the fat. Grab five large scallions. Give them a chop. Grab one bag of your celery sticks. Let's head to the pressure cooker. Also scoop up seven cups of your beef broth. Low sodium. I'm using this bone broth concentrate. That's something you want to use. It tastes delicious. Add in about two tablespoons of your EVOO. Put that Instapot on sear high and you want to add in those bones. You want to sear both sides for about three minutes each. Y'all don't have to, but I like black pepper and I'm going to season both sides. Give them a flip. Pepper up that side. What are we making, Chef? We're making something called caldo de papa, aka short ribs and tater soup. Y'all noticed I was taking them out, but that's because I had two batches to cook. But if you only had the four bones as we started with, you want to go ahead, leave them in there. Add in those seven cups of broth, your stalk of celery, and then I want you to throw in a bouquet garni. That's a bunch of herbs I'm about to show you how to make. Cut a piece of that string, lay it out. Now tie together a quarter bunch of your cilantro and two of your scallions. Now take it, add it to your pot. Lock your lid in place, pressure high for 30 minutes. And darlings, if there's an herb in there that I use that you don't like to use, as you notice, I add time to mine. Go ahead and take it out, discard it, use whatever you like. The point of it is, is you want those herbs tied up so that later after it gets done, you can fish it out easily. Hence, the bouquet garni. While that's cooking, scoop up that blender. It's not just for smoothies. Throw in three garlic cloves, those chopped scallions, and a half a cup of chopped cilantro or whatever herb you want to use. I think I'm going to add parsley to mine. Once that pressure cooker is done, we're going to take a half a cup of that broth and we're going to pour it on top. We're going to blend it until it's all smooth. In the meantime, grab up about a pound and a quarter of your Yukon Gold Taters. That'll be about five or six, depending on how big they are. Peel them, half them, and then cut them into a half inch squares. Now you want to set them aside. Kitchen tip. If you don't want them to turn brown, grab a bowl of your ice water, add them to it. That'll keep them nice and white. Here's a little tip for you, though I don't condone drinking to excess. But in any case, I found out when I was trying to skinify this recipe that it was used as a hangover soup that sticks to your ribs. Uh, in any case, however you enjoy it, whenever you enjoy it, you're just going to have to enjoy it. Let's keep cooking. Time to gather up that half a cup of broth. I want you to do a quick release. Stand back and do not get burned. That's looking amazing. Fish out that bouquet garni. Y'all can also take out that celery if you like, but I like celery. I'm leaving mine in there. You also notice some carrots. Yeah, I threw those in there as well, but you don't have to. Scoop out your half a cup of broth. Pour it in the blender. Puree until smooth. I don't mind that kind of smoothie. Now, let's head back to the pressure cooker. Before we add them taters, you want to take out all the bones and shred up the meat. Add in a teaspoon of your kosher salt. Pour in that yummy mixture. Beautiful. Pour off the water and add in them taters. Give it a stir. Make sure it's seasoned to taste like you want it. Cover it up for another eight minutes. Pressure high. Or at least until those taters are nice and tender. And then, darling, y'all know exactly what time it is. Good Lord in the morning, darlings. Look at this beautiful short ribs and tater soup Chef has for y'all. And it only gets better when you add in some cilantro, darlings and these chopped green onions. Yes, darlings, this is truly beautiful. Look at that dark broth, darlings. It's like we cook this all day long. You thought I was done? Watch this. Got some leftover broth and rice. Oh yeah, don't waste it. Check this out. Yes, darlings, that is how you do it. Now this is truly, what's the skinny in a bowl now in? our mouths. Come on, chefs. Gorgeous. E-S, yes, and bon appetit. I added some red pepper to mine because chef likes it spicy. Mm. This, I know, y'all are going to say, I'm going to say this is the best, but no, y'all, this is absolutely amazing. It's so tender, I don't even have to chew the meat. I just about can swallow it without chewing, but don't do that. So I don't want you to get choked. Let's check out how it tastes with some rice. Again, I say P.S. Yes and Bon Appetit. This broth is so good.
Good golly, Miss Molly. I didn't think it could get no better. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. This broth is killer. Darling, scoop up this recipe and I'll see y'all at the next What's the Skinny. Thank y'all for watching. Yes, chefs. Oh. Woo. Bye. So what do y'all think? Don't they both look absolutely delicious? Scoop up the recipe and I'll see y'all at the next What's the Skinny. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Pass it along. Bye everybody.